really quick, everybody, uh, you know, somebody asked me to do a video presentation about Windows 10, and I didn't have to look very far for the information that I needed. Didn't have to go to too many videos, nothing like that. There is a story right here. Come out today, just this morning, right? Uh, Windows 10 is spying on almost everything that you do, right? Um, I'm going to get into some of the legal aspects of this service agreement, right? That really, I would not be entering into this service agreement. And I know that some of you out there are going to go, well, that's why I use Linux and you should use Linux too. I, and you know what? I understand what you're saying. I, on the other hand, don't happen to have the time or the funds to worry about another computer in case I screw mine up not knowing what I'm doing when I'm already well familiar with my Windows 7 computer. And I'm not going to go above Windows 7. So, yeah, they probably screw them with me, and I, I do realize that. I, I am in agreement with you. But let's just get to the information at hand here, please. Now, there in this 12,000-word service agreement, some of the things here, uh, besides the fact that they do a review and say Windows 10 is amazing, fantastic, glorious, faster, blah, da, yada, yada, but that means nothing compared to your privacy, right? In this service agreement, they state in this excerpt, finally, we will access, disclose, keyword disclose and preserve personal data including your content such as the content of your emails other private communications or files in private folders when we have a good faith belief that doing so is necessary to comply with applicable law or respond to valid legal process now We've already seen exactly how law enforcement agencies work, that they will do stuff under false pretenses, right? I've already explained this in the last Planned Parenthood video that I did and how law enforcement agencies operate. Let me give you a scenario and see if you can, can understand exactly where I'm coming from here. In the, uh, the, the Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, it says that you have the right to be free from illegal search and seizures. Well, who exactly does that guarantee your right from? That's right, law enforcement agencies, right? But we see the courts tend to, have been tending to lean towards uh, deferring uh, their rulings to the law enforcement agencies. They'll make claims, uh, the, law, the, the, uh, the law enforcement agencies will, and the courts will rule in their favor in most of the cases that we've been seeing here as of late, right? Well, when it comes to obtaining your private information, it does not hold the same when it comes to a private corporation such as Microsoft, who you have purchased a product from, and it is in their privacy or, or service agreement. Understand that. You enter into a contract allowing them to have access to your personal information. That's what this whole and it, it, you know, a, a contract is to enter into something that normally if they did it without having a contract, if they did this, it would be highly illegal, right? They couldn't just go into your, to your computer and start looking at your stuff. You know, you can't expect to go to a new car dealership like, uh, uh, you know, uh, Chevy and expect the Chevy dealership to come look under your hood at your computer after you've purchased your car, right? It doesn't happen. Right? But that's not in the purchase clause when you purchase the car or lease it. or Well, of course, you know if you don't make your payment, there's a big different story there, right? But anyway, my point is, is that the service agreement is plain and it's simple. Nothing on your computer is private. You are not protected under the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution from Microsoft being able to peer into your computer because you have intentionally entered into this agreement. Understand that when you accept Windows 10 and you click on that, I agree, that means that you're stating that you have read all of the clauses pertaining to the security and privacy agreement between you and and Microsoft. What is the good faith belief? Let me explain this to you. If you find yourself in court and then all of a sudden you're going to uh, actually reverse uh, claim against uh, Microsoft and you're going to attempt to sue them for you know invading your privacy when you had not done anything wrong, all they're going to have to assert is a good faith belief.
And all you have to do is look at the U.S. Supreme Court cases of Youngblood and Trombetta to see that good faith uh, the, the threshold is very, very low. And all they really have to do is throw the two, three words out there. We had a good faith belief. And boom, the courts are going to rule in their favor. So think about that before you start enter, entering into this agreement, getting Windows 10, and then, uh, you know, possibly wanting that new pirated movie or, you know, maybe even some music that you didn't pay for or whatever. And the cops are right there and they're saying, uh, they're telling Microsoft, we have a reasonable suspicion that this individual right here has been illegally downloading uh, pirated movies. Microsoft will be right there under their good faith belief to investigate your private folders, everything that you have, and all of a sudden, before you know it, they have your whole life's history right there before their very eyes. Okay, so I'm going to leave you the link. You look over this excerpt of the service agreement. As a matter of fact, if I were you, because I don't have it here before me, if you're even contemplating getting Windows 10, read over the whole service agreement it's itself it's important that everybody read what you're agreeing to enter into all right thanks everybody